Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Walsh here, and um, I'm doing bringing to you my very first YouTube art video. I hope you enjoy it. Today, I want to introduce you to the American folk artist, Grandma Moses. Now, you might kind of laugh at that name. Yes, she was a granny. She did not start really doing serious artwork until she was 78 years old. She lived in the country, in the state of New York, and she painted all the things that she saw around her, and everything was a scene. And it's fun to look at her artworks because everything tells a story. And each little character inside the picture, there's usually several characters, they tell stories too. So, but Grandma Moses' story, and you can see her picture right here. Um, she was an artist, she loved to paint. She also loved to embroider. Um, she lived out in the country and when she got to be about 78 years old, she decided she wanted to sell some of her artwork. So the story goes that she put 11 pieces of her artwork into a little store window in her little town. And an art dealer from the big city came by and he said, wow, who, who did that artwork? And they said, oh, that's Grandma Moses. And he says, well, I'd like to buy it all, but I want 12 pieces. And so there were only 11 there. So they called up her daughter and her daughter came to the store and she cut one of Grandma Moses' artworks right in half. That made 12. So he bought them all. He took them to the city, put them in a gallery. It took a few years, but eventually people started to kind of enjoy her style. It's simple, it's happy, it all tells a story. Now she's considered an American folk artist because Grandma Moses did not have any formal training. She did not go to art school. And if you notice in her artworks, she doesn't use a lot of perspective. Things in the front look about the same size as things in the back. Um, usually things in the front are bigger and things in the back are smaller. But if you notice a lot of her artworks, they look about the same. Anyway, they all tell a story. This one right here is called A Beautiful World. And you can see it's the countryside. Um, she's got a farmhouse here. Two ladies are talking over the fence. Over here, there's a barn. There's a man, he's talking to a horse. And he's probably trying to get the horse to do something. There's a pond. It's a beautiful scene and it's happy. And she fills in every last part of it. And it's called A Beautiful World. The next artwork I wanted you to notice was early springtime. Now you can tell there's still snow on the ground. Here in California right now, we don't have any snow where we live, but it's cold, it's early spring. There's a horse and a buggy um, pulling this way with a lot of people inside. There's a man, he's waving to them, he's greeting them. There's geese in the front here, horses over on the side and generally a very pretty scene and also very peaceful. This, this artwork is called The Spring and Evening and has a beautiful sky. And you can see a farmhouse in the front. There's the little road. There's a farmhouse and a barn back here. There's a river and a bridge. So there's many parts to this artwork and it's fun to look at. Now today, I thought you would like to try to do your own artwork. And you, you need white paper, you need a pencil, crayons, or pastels. The pastels are a little bit more brilliant in their color, but whatever you want to use is fine. If you decide your picture goes horizontal, that's called landscape. If you would like it to go vertically, that's called portrait. And what I would, like you to do is to create a scene that's all about something near you. It could be your neighborhood, your park, your school. Put people inside, put some action, fill every part of it up, lots of details, and give it a title so that when somebody looks at it, your picture will tell a story, just like Grandma Moses' artworks all did. Now, the last thing I wanted to add in here is there's kind of a fun little music connection. Um, many years ago, a musical play called Oklahoma featured some 
songs, one of them being, Oh, What a Beautiful Morning. And I thought it correlated nicely with A Beautiful World. And then there's another one, Surrey with the fringe on top. This is all about, both songs really, about a man in love. Now, if you do listen to them, you might laugh because you're. this is different than the kind of music that you listen to today. But both of these songs tell happy stories. And if you listen carefully, like even one, you can hear the clip clop of the horse's hooves. Um, the man will tell you about the birds and the lark and the heather. He will talk about the corn as high as an elephant's eye. Lots of similes, lots of adjectives, and that relates to what we've been learning at school also. Anyway, the, they're two fun songs, and you would have to listen to them a couple of times, but I think you would enjoy them. So, boys and girls, have fun creating an artwork. I hope you enjoy it, and it was nice introducing you to Grandma Moses, an American folk artist. Bye-bye.